So in this video, I'll show you how you can make a Wi-Fi repeater or extender, using which you can extend your Wi-Fi range to up to 20 meters, using the ESP8266 or an ESP module. So let's get started. So for programming this, you don't need to write any code. You'll just have to flash a ready-made file onto the ESP. I've attached the links in the description. You can just go there and download the file. Now to upload the firmware, you will require one flash of software which you can download it from here. After downloading both of the files, you can just extract them and open the flasher. Here, select the board you are using. In my case, I am using the Node MCU. So I will select the ESP8266 here. And here, you need to select the firmware file. For that, click here and go to the folder where you have extracted the files. Then go inside the firmware folder and select the binary file. Now here you need to provide the address or sometimes it will automatically just show up as it showed up for me. Now select the second binary file and provide its address. Now select both the checkboxes. Then we need to provide the board specifications according to the board. In my case I am using the node MCU. So I'll be setting up the parameters accordingly. Now select the right COM port, the boot rate and click the start button. So this will burn the firmware on the board. So now as the firmware successfully flashed, let's configure the Wi-Fi repeater. For that, first you'll need to power up the repeater using a micro USB cable and a 5V power adapter. Then connect your phone or your PC or any system to my AP access point. It will not be having a Wi-Fi password, so just connect to that and open up 192.168.1 as the IP address to configure it. So in this page, you'll have to provide the Wi-Fi credentials for which you want to extend the Wi-Fi range. After typing out the Wi-Fi credentials, just tap on the connect button. After that, you need to provide the credentials for the Node MCU, acting as an extender. So I'll give those credentials. Then select the security mode as WPA2 and click on the save button. With that all, we have successfully configured the Wi-Fi extender. And the last part, go to youtube.com or the YouTube app and search Elon Firms and hit the subscribe button and check if the internet is working on the repeater. So now let's just see this thing in action. So here, as you can see, I'm able to connect to the Wi-Fi repeater and it is successfully repeating the Wi-Fi connection. Now I will open fast.com to test the speed. So when I tested the speed, it came out to 5 to 25 Mbps and which comes out around 210 meters. As far as I went, the connectivity was not so good, but it was certainly usable and it was up to 21 meters. And now if I test the speed of both the Wi-Fi repeater and the Wi-Fi router, you'll observe that the speed I'm getting from the repeater is almost the same at the speed of my Wi-Fi router. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And if this video helped you in any ways, don't forget to like this video and do subscribe. So if you're interested in more of these videos, you can just click this side video to know how I made my Wi-Fi jammer. Or you can just click this side to see my playlist of Arduino and Node MCU. Bye.